Good afternoon, this is Neil with Efficient Automation, and I'm here to show, start showing some graphic stuff. Um, I'm just gonna kinda go off on a couple different random things, and then that way to show you how to start building, um, and then you can expand upon it, and then do however you like, you know, however you like to build your graphics. So right here I'm in the wire sheet of uh, one of my points folders. Um, I haven't pulled in the points yet, but I just wanna show one quick thing. So right here, I've already created a graphic. Um, I've, I'm going to actually change some of this up as I bring in the points. I'm just utilizing one to help. Um, but so right here, we created, um, it's, we call it a tag. So basically what this means is, is this is gonna be the equipment tag. So we give the customer the ability to name it. So let's say for instance, you're doing an office building and um, this is a VAV box. And this VAV box may, or fan power box may be FPB or FTPU, whatever the, the specific name is for that box, 03-12. But then the sensor may be located in a particular office. So let's say it's for office uh, suite 310. So we give them the ability to put the name of the box, but then also the suite that it's in, or um, for instance, this is gonna be a, um, a little fan coil that's in a central plant. So right here in this folder, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna do new, I'm gonna do a string writable, and I'm just gonna simply name it tag. Then what I'm gonna do is, is so I like to take all the pin slots out since there's no reason to have a pin slot because it's not gonna be linked to anything. Go to our slot sheet, and then I want to keep only, so I'm gonna get rid of the overrides, and then keep just the set. So I'm gonna make everything hidden. So I'm gonna take these, these four um, and make them hidden. So then when they right click, actions, the only thing they're gonna see is set. And then you properly name it. F. So we name this plant FCU. Now, you don't have to worry about putting the underscore because this is going on a graphic and it's just gonna be um, a, a point that's displayed on the graphic itself. So right here we have it. Then we're gonna go to I'm sorry, to our graphic. And then when we link this graphic to this plant FCU, it's gonna go out and look for that tag. But then also I wanna show you, I made it text, I animated it, but then also instead of having to worry about the, um, the clicking the out dot value, I just put in my format out dot value in between so, and then once you click OK, then it's gonna bring that in there. So to show you right quick, even though I'm not gonna really have it, I'm gonna go to Views, New View. I'm gonna do my drop down. Actually, I don't have that in there yet. So I'm gonna go to my folder and I'm gonna go to FCUPX. And you can name your PXs however you wanna name them. I'm just trying to keep this pretty simple for right now. You're gonna click Save, click OK. We want to reuse. Yes. Now, as you can see, it says plant FCU. They right click, they click set, and you can change it to whatever you want. So let's say, for instance, they wanted to name it FCU01. This gives them the ability to, to change the names. Uh, when you do a VAV box or a fan power box you, and through Honeywell, um, the point, it gives you a tag already built in to where you can just link it um, and then relativize it. So I'm gonna show you a quick little thing right here. If you, since we're, since this graphic is the one that's actually being utilized for this point folder, here's this right here. Then we come over to our bound ords. So I know you can't really see it because uh, I'm trying to, I'm doing all this in the field. But if I take, I'll try and pull it over as much as I possibly can. So here's our bound ords right here. Then I have these, these little two little dots and a slash, and it says relativize ords. Click okay, 
it'll change it and then now everything will be relativized so that way you can utilize this graphic for several different things.